oncology right now, they have the capability of understanding what's gone wrong um, in your tumor to make it a tumor. Okay. Now in oncology, that is a little easier in the sense that usually it's one or two mutations in certain genes that, that drive the cancer. In autoimmunity and chronic inflammation, like I told you, we don't know what causes the disease. It's a heterogeneous disease, a lot of different um, reasons contribute to getting an autoimmune disease, a combination of your genetics and your lifestyle. If you smoke, you're at higher risk, for example. Um, so understanding the molecular definition of autoimmune disease is more difficult. But indeed, people are working on that now, and it is the, where the clues are going to be to design therapeutics to selectively treat different sets of patients. And so I do believe that um, we follow in the great footsteps of oncology where they have determined how to um, treat patients in a personal way and we strive to do the same thing. Um, as it's more complicated scientifically, it's going to take us a little bit longer okay. to get there. But we should be able to get there in 40 years, for sure. <laughs>